This it. Right here? Understood. Uh, but that's it? Yeah. That's too Hey, you can go ahead and sit. Okay. Oh, it won't be easy for me to sit and stand. Yeah, yeah. Your mom got it for 
celebrating the fourth with you guys. Absolutely. We'll take a long merch stroll. I might be on the menu today, too. We'll, we'll definitely have to see. Uh, with all that being said, guys, we're going to turn it back around, step up tomorrow, and start our day. And if you're just coming in and haven't already, hit that like button for us. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Four ninety nine for Ramon, ba Ramon Balrama saying summer funds. Thank you so much, Ramon. We really appreciate Thank that. Thank you so much, Ramon. Very kind. Uh, let's turn it back around. Okay, let's go to Magic Kingdom. Bye. You guys got your tickets? Oh yeah, iced coffee is a must today, Andrew, for sure. Sorry. Five minutes. Charlie okay. Orlando says you should be in Top Gun. Oh. With your shades and everything. What is up, Monroe? <laughs> we would like to go to the Magic Kingdom. I keep moving. <laughs> I know. And mom sent us a ten dollars super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lena. We mom. really appreciate that. All right. They should be letting us out soon. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're off. Left side, right? Yep. We'll try to get our usual spot for the parade if uh, if it's not too incredibly busy. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much. This is the moment where we were like, we really did get those park reservations, right? I sure hope so. Okay, cool. <laughs> it goes Welcome to the Magic Kingdom on the 4th of July, everybody. Thank you so much, honey. All right. It's hot. It's very hot. Let's get into the park. Let's go catch the Festival Fantasy Parade. I think uh, it's almost here. So I can hear the music. Our spot's pretty well taken. We can try to find one uh, near the Christmas tree area. I don't know if up top is... Yeah, it's barricaded. We can still go up top though. Do you want to just go on top here? Yeah, let's just go up top. It's a hot one. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. It really is. It's beautiful, though. It is beautiful. Happy 4th of July, everybody. We can hear the parade coming right now. Won't be able to quite see it because of the, uh, the tree there, but uh, as soon as it comes around the bend, we'll see everything. Goodness, it's hot. <laughs> I'm going to put down my bag and get some something to drink real quick before the parade starts. Oh. If you don't mind. Thank you. Yep. Happy 4th of July, guys. Thank you so much for celebrating it here with us here at the Magic Kingdom. It's going to be a beautiful day. It is. How hot is it, says Marty? I'm very How hot. hot. Is it? <laughs> Guaranteed over like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 
It looks like it's uh, currently 97. Real feel is well into the hundreds. Yeah. You want some gift? Yeah, I'll make it. Oh, Jamie. Jamie Slack says the hummer butter. Let's go. Oh no, Jamie. Space Mountain over there on the right. Pretty cool. You guys can kind of see the floats there.
guys so that was the festival of fantasy oh and it is no fantasy that it is as hot as it is <laughs> it is very hot there's a vip section but i don't know why the rope is still up i think they get to keep it as long as they want oh really i think so wow you ready to turn it off yeah so hey again guys it's hot okay cool <laughs> Good to see you all here today. Thank you so much for being here. We are the Park Hoppers. We're Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now, guys. That was the Disney Festival of Fantasy here at Magic Kingdom. That's the last parade of the day. Yes. There is still a cavalcade that comes up at 5-something today, uh, but there's only one showing of that today because today is the 4th of July. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well, guys. Thank you so much. With all that being said, let's go find some, like, Air conditioning? No, wait, we've got the dance. Let's go catch the, the dance. Yeah, the Dapper Dance. And there should be in their 4th of July vest. So I'm Absolutely. excited to see them. Let's do it. Yes. Thank you, everybody. All right. Dapper Dance should be out in about three minutes. It's, uh, I know we've said it a number of times already today, and we've said it before in previous days, but I think this is the hottest day we've ever been at Magic Kingdom. It's very toasty. That's awesome, Sean. Yeah, this is an awesome Bucky shirt. Uh, Bucky's is kind of a, uh, a pariah of sorts. It's, it's a gas station that is also a uh, a lot more <laughs> and uh, well we still technically have never been uh, we do have these shirts so uh, we were like you know what this is the perfect time to wear them oh yeah definitely alright let's get a good spot for the dapper dance oh sorry it's okay Now the question is, will they be in the shade or in the street? I don't know. Do you, maybe the next color over? Maybe. Pretty nice. We get a little bit of the bunting from uh, the 4th of July over there on the confectionery. Yeah, the 4th of July bunting is really pretty on Main Street. It is. Hey, Mickey Mouse. Hey, Marty. Sean said, did you hear that they're building the world's largest Bucky's in Florida? No way. Did not know that. That's awesome. Oh. Oh, everybody's uh, loving your haircut. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, guys, if you're loving the haircut, Monica did it. So everybody think Monica. <laughs> hey, Jimmy Tiger. I just uh, I looked at her the other day and I'm like, I'm gonna die out there if I keep longer hair. So I need to need to shave this off. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss Sugar Cookie. Hey, Becky. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Zori. You want me to put it away? Okay. Hey, Terry. Hey, Disney Pal from Boston. Hey, Coda. Hey, Tim Tiki Man Fan. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Buffy, my girl. Hey, mouse ears and beers. Yes, it is super hot right now. It is like in the feels of like 100 plus degrees Fahrenheit. Crazy. We've only been live for 35 minutes and we've already lost 15% of our battery life. I really need to get that plugged in as well. Hey, JLF. Hey, Big Al. Hey, Cap Crunch. Hey, Goofy Guy. Happy Fourth, guys. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Will the Thriller. Hey, why it's Grampy. Marcelo, hello from Brazil. Wow, thank you for being here. Becky, there's always buttons to press. <laughs> we'll find them. Hey, Jelly Bean. Hey, Paul Freed. Hey, Julianne. Guys, we are currently waiting for the Dapper Dance. Today is 4th of July, so they will be in their 4th of July best. We're really excited to see them. Hey, Chris. Hey, Joseph. Hey, Sean. Here they come. Hey, Maribel. All right, guys. Enjoy the Dapper Dance in their 4th of July best. It's showtime, everybody, right here and now. Gather around this shit. It's free. There's $5 a free show. No, free. Me too. Oh, I was mistaken. And it, it doesn't cost anything either. No. Maybe bring some. True. It's time. Yeah. I'll never get back. Yeah. Other than that, it's free. Yeah. All right, here we go, fellas. And... I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. USA is the heart of America, heart of the holiday. Oh, I'm waiting. The place was made with a magical plan. And right down the street, there is a fantasy land. I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA.
Hispanic Barbershop Quartet, the two block radius. We're here to sing for you. You're here to listen to us. I hope that we finish first. Yeah. Challenge accepted. Indeed. All right, here we go. My little Margie, I'm always in love with Margie. I tell the world I love you. Don't forget your promise to me. I am father for Margie. Baby, my inspiration days are never blue. After all is said and done, there is no.
time for the song you've all been waiting for. Which one is that? The last one. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me check the other. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a great big view tomorrow. Oh, that's uh, 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 no. There's a great big to try to take a quick selfie with the Dapper Dance. Uh, we have to be really quick if we want to get our carousel of progress in before uh, Neil comes out on the piano. Hey, Thomas Eklund. Yes, it is brutally hot out here today. Let's, uh, let's turn it around real quick. Yeah. So hey guys, I don't know if you can tell from uh, the, uh, yeah, sure sweat. the sweat on, oh, yeah. uh, on the shirt there. There's a lot of sweat it's, happening. Uh, it's pretty hot out here today. And uh, the Dapper Dans are in their Dapper vest for the 4th of July. I don't know how oh, they're doing it. Guillermo became a park hopper. Thank you so Thank much, Guillermo. Thank you so much, Guillermo. We sincerely appreciate that, guys. We are the park hoppers from Monica Thank, Thank you, Guillermo. We go live from the parks all the time now, guys. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. We are going to take this picture with the Dapper Dans and then uh, Hopefully. go catch the car. I'm, like I'm all sweaty, but I'm like, what if we don't get a chance to take a photo later? <laughs> Good to see you, guys. Oh, okay. Just us? Yeah. You know, we were down here 15, 20 minutes. Or do you want her to take a photo? How are you guys doing? Do you mind if we do a quick selfie? Yeah? Sure. I don't know how you're doing it with the clothing today. Alright. Maybe I should have had her take a photo for us. You know, let me ask her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. 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 Hello,
closer? Sure, I'm dying, but yes. <laughs> I know, but if we don't take the photos now, I'll never take them later. That's fair. Whew. It is, it's... yeah, I'm sweating a lot too. Uh, yeah, and the we AC were... feels really nice because it's like I went on a water ride or something. And we were in the shade, so like, yeah. that's crazy. I'm surprised the Dapper Dans weren't in the shade. All right. Oh no, I should have taken a selfie. Did Where you? at? What do you mean? When? That's with the Dapper Dans. It oh. Came Not so good. I'm sorry. It's all right. All right. I was we... just trying to see in the camera and I couldn't see like everybody, you know? I get you. Where would you like to take the selfie in front of the uh, castle? Right when we get to the end of the tracks or here? Right here? Right here is good. Okay. Stand up Let's here. take a quick selfie. Super quick selfie, guys. Everybody, everybody say cheese. cheese. Where, oh, that's the wrong way. I'm not good at selfies today. Where are you? Okay, well, the gimbal has to be like somewhere. Oh. I'm just trying to see the castle. Find the entry. Well, that was a terrible photo, but hey, thanks for smiling, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. All right, let's get off of Main Street and out of the sun. And let's hurry up and get over to Tomorrowland. We've got to do a Carousel of Progress ride today. It is the 4th of July. It is an important ride to do for the 4th of July. Later on, to yeah. later on today, we'll also be paying a visit to the uh, Hall of Presidents. We're gonna be doing the flag retreat today. We're gonna catch Neil as soon as we can. Other things like that, guys. It's just gonna be a very, very good 4th of July day. It's just very hot and we just need to move. <laughs> All right. Tell you what guys, uh, be careful out there. I hear it's hot all across the country. Whenever uh, temperatures rise, so do uh, temperaments. So be careful out there. Oh, we're looking forward to them, Thomas. Thank you so much. All right. That's a good call, Zori. It is right over here. Alright guys, so in chat, let us know, has everyone seen the Carousel of Progress? Have you seen the Carousel of Progress? If you have, give us a yes. If you haven't, give us a no. Because it's uh, it's been a long time since we streamed it. You have my hand, right? I do. Oh, okay. you have it in your pocket? I do. Looks like everybody's going inside for the Carousel of Progress. Let's see if we can make that one. I see some nose in there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this will be the first time for a number of people. That's really cool. Watch your step here, honey. Well, let's enjoy the carousel of progress here as soon as we can get up there. <laughs> Jeff Davis, yes, several times. <laughs> There's Buzz Lightyear. There is Buzz Lightyear. That's awesome. All right, let's see if they'll let us in this one or if we'll be in the next one. Monkeys. Hey. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, looks like we are not making it in this one. Yeah. We were just slightly too slow. Oh, okay. We can share the pre show. Yeah. Walt and his Imagineers created a cast of 32 talented performers for the show. What made these actors so unique is that they can perform non-stop all day long without ever taking a break. The whole cast was assembled for a dress rehearsal just two months before opening day at the fair. Walt and his crew had to work around the clock to get the show finished on time. This is the stage for Act 1 of the Carousel Theater of Rock. Stages for the other acts are being assembled at other places in the studio for a complete audio animatronic dress rehearsal. Now this contraption here might look like something in the mouth of space, but it's actually a control harness for programming the actions and gestures of our audio animatronic. Don't tell my work. This is the carousel theater. Whatever the man in the harness does, the speaker will respond simultaneously in the same manner. Care for your life. I don't think he does. Won't be on the stage. He can uh, oh, read the newspaper and all that stuff. Up to date of that. The operator of the control harness has to be a bit of a amateur, as you can see. Since its debut at the 1964 New York World's Fair, the Carousel of Progress has been seen by more people than any other show in American history. I'm Rex Allen. I had the honor of performing in that original show over 30 years ago. And while the show has changed over the years, it continues to entertain audiences today. An ongoing tribute to one man who never stood in the way of progress, Walt Disney. Are you telling me something? Oh, yes, you might say so. There's two things, Walt. First, Mrs. Disney calls. She wants to know, since you didn't make it home for Christmas, do you think you can by Easter? Tell her to die. Here we go. So, for those of you who have never seen this before, the Carousel of Progress, all of these displays in the center stay put. We, as the audience, are what's rotating around the entire time. So you saw the building from the outside moving, that's because this entire building that we're in actually rotates around to see the show. It's a really, really neat thing, and it's something that uh, Walt Disney and uh, Wet Enterprises the put together a long time ago. We'll see whether or not we need to speed down. Yeah, there is. Happy 4th of July, Jim. Hi, friends. This presentation will last approximately 20 minutes, and the theater will rotate several times during the experience. For your own safety, please remain seated at all times. If you're unable to stay for the entire presentation, please gather your belongings and exit now through the doors at the back of the theater. This is your, this is your last chance to exit the theater during the whole experience. 
We invite you to return when you can stay for the entire presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much for the $20 Venmo, we really appreciate that. Once again, Thank welcome you, to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. For courtesy of all guests, please supervise the children and remain seated for the 20 minutes experience. Thank you. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Ah, uh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Millions of people came to see it. And since then, the Carousel of Progress has had more performances than any other stage show in the history of American theater. You know, Walt loved the idea of progress, and he loved the American family. And he himself was probably as American as anyone could possibly be. He thought it would be fun to watch the American family go through the 20th century, experiencing all the new wonders as they came. And he put them together in a show called Carousel of Progress, which we are now about to see. Although our Carousel family has experienced a few changes over the years, our show still revolves around the same theme, and that's progress. May the century begin. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow is just a dream away. It's a dream come true for you and me, so there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. They are today. Yes, sir, buildings are towering now as high as 20 stories. The moving pictures flicker up on a big screen. We have almost 8,000 automobiles in this country, and we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. And I even hear tell about two brothers from North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying contraption. <laughs> It'll never work. Closer to home, we've now got gas lamps, a telephone, and the latest design in cast iron stoves. And that reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot in just three buckets of coal. Oh, boy, it sure beats chopping wood. And isn't our new ice box a beauty? Look at that. Holds 50 pounds of ice. Milk doesn't sour as quick as it used to. And our dog Rover here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wasn't too long ago we had to carry water from a well. And thanks to progress, we've got a pump right here in the kitchen. Of course, we keep a bucket of water handy to prime it with. Yes, sir, we've got everything we need to make life easier. Say, Mother, <coughs> I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. Electric lights? No more kerosene. No more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets to the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marble. Now it takes me only five hours to do the wash. Imagine, it used to take two days. Well, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things like... Like uh, canning and cleaning the oven. Yes, dear. The ovens don't just clean themselves. I know, dear. <laughs> and they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me, we'll have to the laundry on the line before it starts raining cats and dogs. Oh, don't worry, Rover. She didn't mean real dogs. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. I wouldn't say I do so. Well, I have got to come down. All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh, well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, we look at that. Now, James, I thought I told you to ask my permission before using my new stereoscope. Well, it's not a toy, you know. Ooh la la, so that's little Egypt doing the hoochie coochie, eh, Dad? Isn't she a knockout? She's the star of the new World's Fair in St. Louis, and... <clears throat> now, you put that away before your mother finds it. Aw, oh, Dad! You heard me. Well, we have one of those new talking machines. Now, that is something. It plays music right here in our home. Yes, Patricia? Papa, all these people. I'm, I'm indecent. 
<laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. They're friends. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to a Valentine's dance across town on one of those new horseless trolleys. I think it's very romantic you're taking Mother out for Valentine's dinner this evening. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening as romantic as yours and mine. Now, you be home by 9 o'clock, daughter. You hear me? Yes. Oh, well, with all this talking, I've worked up quite a thirst. <laughs> I think I'll take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain and beat the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress... Yeah, it looks like... The cast member just said, so unfortunately due to some technical issues, we're going to see the same scene again. So buckle up everyone. And we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. And I even hear tell about two brothers from North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying <laughs> It'll never work. Closer to home, we've now got gas lamps, a telephone, and the latest design in cast iron stove. And that reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot in just three buckets of coal. Oh, boy, it sure beats chopping wood. And isn't our new ice box a beauty? Look at that. Holds 50 pounds of ice. Milk doesn't sour as quick as it used to. And our dog Rover here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wasn't too long ago we had to carry water from a well. And thanks to Brock. Welcome in the car, please remain seated at all time. Motion is going to start in a few minutes. Please remain seated. Thank you. Others. I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. No more kerosene, no more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marble thing. Now. Two days. Five hours to do the wash. Imagine, it used to take two days. Oh, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things like... Like canning uh, and cleaning. Yes, dear. Well, don't just clean yourself down. I know, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, uh, don't worry, Rover. She didn't mean real dogs. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. I'm not saying I don't think so. Well, they're going to come down. All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh, well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, we look at that. Now, James, I thought I told you to ask my permission before using my new stereoscope. It's not a toy, you know. Ooh la la, so that's little Peach <laughs> doing the hoochie-coochie, eh, Dad? Isn't she a knockout? She's the star of the new World's Fair in St. Louis, and... <clears throat> now, you put that away before your mother... Well, once again, please remain seated. All time motions are starting in two seconds. Please remain seated. Thank you. Yes, Patricia? Papa, all these people. I'm, I'm indecent. <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. They're friends. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to a Valentine's <coughs> dance across town on one of those new horseless trolleys. I think it's very romantic you're taking Mother out for Valentine's dinner this evening. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening as romantic as yours and mine. Now you be home by nine o'clock, daughter. You hear me? I am the of the theater is going to be in twenty seconds. Thank you. Alex down at the drugstore soda fountain and meet the boys for cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow is just a dream away Man has a dream that that's the story He follows his dream with mind and mind And family becomes a reality It's a dream come true
July we've had in years. We've come a long way though since the turn of the century over 20 some odd years ago. You know that pilot fella, Charles Lindbergh? He's about to fly a single wing airplane all the way across the Atlantic. <laughs> He's never gonna make it. And sports stadiums are springing up all over. And boy, nobody hits that old horse hide like that new fella, Babe Ruth. Jazz music is the cat's meow. And there's been ads in the paper for months for a movie starring Al Jolson. And he's going to talk and sing. Oh, boy, I've got to see that. <laughs> there goes Schwartz in his upmobile. He sure loves that horn. You know, in my new Essex, I've got an electric starter. Now I don't have to crank. We can travel from New York to Los Angeles by train in only three days. And we've got a house full of new electrical servants. Mr. Edison sure added life to our home. <laughs> the third one this week. I buy fuses by the case. Uh -oh. And I've blown the whole neighborhood again. <laughs> Easy, Rover. Jimmy, hurry up with that fuse. Oh, shucks. Every time he has company, he blows a fuse. I guess he always has to change it. I heard that, young man. I heard that. Oh, well, that's more like it. John, yours is the last costume I've got to finish before the parade starts. Sarah's Ladies Club is responsible for our town's 4th of July celebration tonight. She's got us all roped into performing in their program. And I've I... decided we're going as George and Martha Washington, dear. Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> That's a role that really fits me. You know, I'm I... so glad we installed an electric light fixture here on the porch because it's just too darn hot to be sewing inside. Yes, Sarah. You know, next year I'd like to go as Benedict Arnold. And Wait I'm... until you see what I've got planned for the fireworks show tonight. Rover, don't interrupt while Sarah's interrupting. And guess who volunteered to choose the music for the program? I did, Pop. Listen to this. Oh, it's a nice tune, Jimmy. You know, with our new Crosley radio set, we can get news and big-time entertainment from all over the country, even Pittsburgh. Oh, to arrive downtown for a spectacular Fourth of July parade and fireworks Oh, Patricia. Yes, Father. Better get a move on. The radio says folks are arriving downtown. Do I really have to go? If my new boyfriend, Theodore, sees me in this, it'll scare him away. Well, dear, if that happens, you'll always have that torch you can carry for him. <laughs> Thanks, Father. Calm down, Rover. I was only kidding. By the way, we have indoor plumbing now. Oh, boy, that's really great on cold nights, especially for our perennial house guest, old Uncle Orville. Uncle Orville's taken over the coolest spot in the house, of course, and he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. <laughs> Too bad he's not reading the help wanted ads. No privacy at all around this place. Sorry, Orville. You know, considering all the... Oh, coming, Martha, as I was saying. Considering all the conveniences we now have, I'll say that we're really on easy street these days. It just can't get any better. Just goes to show that there's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day well, it's another Halloween here in the fabulous 40s. Everything is better than ever now, and we've got some amazing new wonders around the house to prove it. For instance, our refrigerator holds more food and ice cubes, and thanks to our automatic dishwasher, oh, I don't have to dry the dishes anymore after supper. Gives Rover and me more time to enjoy our evening stroll together. <laughs> Later, boy. Oh, and here's something else that's new. I just heard a new term today on the radio. Fella says, we've got something now called 
the rat race. Did you ever hear that one? It sure describes my life. I'm involved in something now called commuting. I drive into the city for work all day and then turn right around and drive all the way back. And the highway is crowded with fellow rats doing the same thing. That's what they call progress, dear. <laughs> yeah, I guess she's right. But we do have television <laughs> when it works. Gives you something to do after you come home. I kind of like it, you know? Guy named John Cameron Swayze gives us all the news. And then they have all this singing and dancing. A lot of fluff, but it's fun. You know, I predict the day when millions of people will learn Latin and Greek sitting in front of their TV sets. Are you awake, dear? Ah, uh, yes, the new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my jack-o'-lantern? Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. <laughs> that's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. <laughs> Down, Rover. Jim, Rover appreciates your joke. Now, you're always kidding poor Patty. She's certainly prettier than either of you. You hear that? My daughter Patty is using that old exercise machine she rescued from the attic. It was all the rage in the 20s. Grandma, of course, had to have one. Didn't work then, doesn't work now. <laughs> Consistent, at least. Makes a lot of noise and blows fuses. As I was saying, Dad, I think college is really swell. You should give it a try. Oh, Patty, are you going to the house party tonight? Oh, yes, and I'm going to the Western New Orleans. said about me when I was dating Sarah. <laughs> You're lucky, Rover. You don't have to date. Well, we're caught up in the do-it-yourself craze these days. We're remodeling our basement in something called a, a rumpus room, and we're looking forward to a few rumpuses, I'll tell you, as long as they don't get out of hand. John, this papering is getting out of hand. Now, Sarah, didn't I set up that clever automatic paint stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you care. Oh, good old Sarah. Always the last laugh. <laughs> what happened, Sarah? Okay, with your progress, that paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my drum. I remove this, the broom. <laughs> How do you like that? I always say if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Well, it's time to move on. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. Come on, everybody. Make me beautiful tomorrow. Tomorrow is the my best score yet. Well, it was peaceful until Santa brought that new virtual reality space pilot game. Your turn, Grandma. Let's switch the image over to the TV so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now, it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. Here goes nothing. Whoa. All right, here he comes. Oh, you missed him. Hey, everybody. I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Right. Tell a refrigerator from any root beer. Well, it can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Tree lights 30% brighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that. 
boys activated stuff. So watch it. Rover, meet. John, the oven should respond to your voice commands now. Give it a try. Oh, okay. Here goes. Temperature to 375. Reminds me of certain people I know. Yeah, right, Dad. You gotta lose him, Grandma. Bang to the right. Remember Dad's turkey last year? Yeah, that thing really smoked up the place when it burned, didn't it? We ended up microwaving frozen pizzas. Well, no need to worry about the turkey this year. Not with an oven that will do anything your father tells it to do. Ooh, good shot. Did you see that? Dad, Grandma's up to 550 points. Did you say 550? Hey, she's getting the hang of that thing. I can't believe all the new gadgets they got now. You know, in my day. Oh, no. You're not going to tell us about the old days when you didn't even have a car phone. <laughs> True. For a while, we didn't even have a house phone. Not to mention laser discs, high def TV. Everything is automated today. Including. Hey, check it out, Dad. Grandma's up to 975 points. Wow, 975. <laughs> Two out of three, Grandma. Later, kid. Boy, that was fun. What will they think of next? Who knows? We've got a whole new century waiting for us out there. Yeah, and maybe sometime in the new century, your father will learn how to talk to our oven. Well, maybe by then ovens will read our minds. But hey, as long as we're all here and happy and together for the holidays, who cares if I burned our Christmas turkey? I do. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday, everything's going to be so automated, you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again. There's <laughs> <laughs> a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Thank you for joining us on Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. We hope you've enjoyed this tribute to the 1964 Carousel of Progress from the New York World's Fair. Please gather all of your personal belongings and exit through the doors located at the back of the theater. Have a pretty big, beautiful day. Remember, tomorrow is just a dream away. Alrighty guys, so that was the Carousel of Progress. Uh, what time are we looking at? 4.35? You want to go catch Neil on the piano over at Casey's Corner? Yeah, that sounds great. And guys, as we make our way that direction, the clouds are really pretty. As we make our way that direction, chat's been stopped on my end for a while, so I'm going to do a quick refresh on the, uh, on the stream here. If you guys don't mind, we'll be right back. Do it again, do it again. All right, guys, we should be back. Oh, back out in the heat. <laughs> well, thank you all for enjoying the Carousel of Progress with us. That's something we haven't done in a long time, and it was just really nice to do that for the 4th of July. 
I mean, it's perfectly themed for the 4th of July, too. Right? All right, guys, we're gonna come around here and make our way over to Casey's Corner. And guys, because we did just uh, induce a little bit of lag there in order to refresh the stream, make sure that your live indicators are red. If uh, where it says live on your screen, it is gray, you're no longer uh, live with us. So just make sure they're red so that you're here with us uh, in the moment. And make sure your settings are on 1080p. Yep. That's awesome, Marty M. Marty M said there was no lag in there today. Just the ride itself, I guess, because we saw one of the scenes over. I was like, what's happened? I, I leaned over to Monica and I was like, we're supposed to be moving, right? Or we am did. I forgetting that? I was like, yeah, that's, that's the moving part. We're just not, not moving. Here, I guess, is like, nice cool down time. Actually, not really. Um, <laughs> Inside the carousel of progress, I don't know if it's because of the amount of people or what. Yeah, it is. Um, it was hot, hot as heck. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, there. not as hot as it is out here, though. So Pretty in that close. way, in that way, it was a nice uh, break for a moment. That's true. Even with the cloud cover now, it's it's a warm one. All right, let's take a look at the castle. They're setting up for the oh, DJ the already. already setting up. That's awesome. We're gonna have some partying tonight, guys. We're gonna be hearing a lot of really cool music. Uh, gonna be seeing a lot of people dancing. The cast members get in on it. It's a really cool experience. The whole castle lights up, red, white, and blue. Yeah, it's I'm gonna be really neat. to see the castle. Oh, 4th of July, decked out. Right? Hey, Jeff Conton. Good to see you, Jeff. Thank you for being here. All right, so. Neil should be coming out on the piano if he's not already out in the next couple of minutes. Let's go say hello to our friend Neil on the piano. Uh, and then we will catch the flag retreat. And yeah, it's definitely a hot one today, guys. It is. And it is very crowded as well. Yep. I don't see Neil just yet. Okay, cool. So we're gonna catch him right as he comes out. All right. All the ice, all the ice cream. Everybody's waiting for him for the seventh inning stretch. You want me to get that table spot over there? Yeah. Okay. I'll get a napkin to wipe it down. Okay. You're gonna go over there? Hi. I just want to hang out and not sit at the table. Are you setting it down? I was just going to set up right here. You're not going to put it down? I don't think I'll put it down, no. It's, oh. it's... Well, I was going to wait for it. Well, okay, if you want to, yeah. I'm just saying, like, uh, it's not worth all that. I'm not cleaning all that. I, I get you. I was okay. just going to clean the last one while you're going to put that. Well, I, I will put it down right here. Then. Thank you. No one's really thought about the speaker. I'm saying it. I'm talking about that one That's awesome, designer. All right, I'm going to go get some water really quickly. That sounds like a pun. Thank you, honey. Monica's gonna go get some hot dog water, everybody. 61 in Alaska, that's amazing, Brian. It's currently 95. Let's see what the weather is saying. Okay, it's saying right where we are right now it is 92 with a real feel in the sun of 110 degrees. So it's cooled down a little bit. That's good. We are under a heat advisory. How are you doing, Neil? A little sweatier than you. <laughs> oh. Happy 4th of July. 
Oh, they gave us big cups today. That's crazy. Yeah, they had the big cups today. Wow. Normally it's little cups. It must be really hot. <laughs> Trying to keep people from passing. <laughs> it's uh, we're under a pretty severe heat advisory right now. Yeah. It's uh, 92, feels like 110. Yeah, one of the, one of the uh, guys in the dance and it said 20 feet. Oh my goodness. Nothing. It, it's, it's a hot one today, guys. All right, Neil is gonna do the take me out to the ball game, the seventh inning stretch, guys. We had a whole tray of the big waters. <laughs> Thank goodness. And in case you're wondering what we're talking about, these are the large cups. Normally they'll give you the cup that's like half that size. But it's such a hot day that it's like, they're like, we don't want anybody passing out. Exactly.
That is Neo on the piano. I love the falsetto part of Mr. Blue Sky back there. Oh, just, Mr. <laughs> just nailed it. Oh man. Well, we have got to go catch a flag retreat, oh. and then we're going to be coming back later on. See you at the end. We'll be back. We'll be back. And I got my I got my shiny umbrella. You got your shiny umbrella today. Oh, no, thank you guys. <laughs> I got, I've been drinking water all day. Thank you so much. Say hi to it. It's, it's a hot one. I have about five minutes. Five minutes. And I'm a music teacher. And I want all my students to know. This is why you All right, guys. That's Neil at Neil Piano. That's also Neil on Instagram. Thank you so much, my man, for dropping this link in there. We really appreciate that. Hello, students. I am here with Neil, the amazing piano player. And he has a message for you. That's awesome. All right, guys. So we are going to go catch the flag retreat. Yeah. Any more water? No, thank you, honey. Let's. Uh, when the flag retreat ends today, let's also uh, follow them down the Market Street a little bit and uh, show the very end of it as well. Yeah, that sounds great. That's so cool. That was a music teacher, guys, uh, doing a video with Neil to her students. It was. That was so cool. The flag's almost down.
So guys, that was the flag retreat ceremony. We're going to follow the cast members now. They'll lead us on down to the end of the flag retreat ceremony, which is where the cast member takes a right over towards Market Street. And where everyone takes a moment to just thank them for their service. So let's go over there and take a look. So that is the end of the flag retreat ceremony. Now the uh, veteran is going to take a moment, he's going to stand here, they're going to find a place for him in the shade, and uh, the cast members and guests, family members, anyone who wants to is going to come up, shake his hand, thank him for his service. It's really such an honor for a veteran to be able to uh, take part in this. And it's an honor for us to be able to uh, honor them. Rachel's adventures, we don't really know. Uh, previously, they've been able to keep the flag. It seems like they were presenting the flag to him today. It's a very good question, though. That was really cool. That I was mean, really cool. On 4th of July, I mean, nothing better than to honor our veterans, really. Right? But um, just a special shout out and thank you to those who are serving or have served and their families for 
all your sacrifice. Thank you so much, everybody. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. The color guards back there for a bit of a photo op as well. It's really cool. Happy 4th of July, guys. Now, we don't want to interrupt his moment here, uh, but uh, cast members that we've asked in the past honestly aren't certain if they get to keep their flag anymore. They used to before COVID happened. Uh, I hope that it's come back to that as well. They're getting ready to take a photo, so let's... Yeah, that looks great, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you want to head? Can we go in there? I think so. No, we can't. No. Okay. Let's just not end up in their photos. I think you have to go in through the main. Oh, through the main? Gotcha. That makes sense. Quick question, guys. I don't know if you might know this, but uh, will the veteran be able to keep the flag? Uh, yeah, the veteran does keep the flag. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so yes, the uh, the veteran does get presented with the flag and he does get to keep it. That's very cool. Let's look into the uh, glass blowers for a moment. So sorry. Just doing our best to stay out of their photos. That's really cool. All right. What's the next time for uh, Kevin Six forty. Six forty tonight. So it's going to be a while. Uh, let's go ahead and back out. Uh, would you like to get a coffee or anything? <laughs> coffee? I don't know, is it like too hot for coffee? <laughs> it might be. Do you want to see if there's any new um, pumpkins or anything while sure. we're here? Because I haven't seen a new cup. Let's take a look at it. Oh wow, look at all the new cups up here. Just doing our best not to end up in any photographs of the uh, veteran back here as well, though. Oh, that's cool. You can see it through here, though. <laughs> it is cool. That's awesome. Oh, these are new. Yeah, they just finished, by the way. Did they just finish? Yeah. Okay. Have you seen these before? No, there's like a lot of new pieces. That's why I was like, let's go check out the new pieces. Right? Hey, welcome back, Becky. These are pretty neat little hearts here. They've made a few of them. I like the color of this face here. Did you see all the cups as well? Yeah. This one's really pretty. This white one just really stands out to me. It is really pretty. Look at the swirls. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. I really like this green one too. It's got like a shimmer base. You see that? Oh yeah. Hey Claudio, hey CNM Custom Signs in the house, good to see you guys. Hey Neve, good to see you, thank you so much for popping that like button, we appreciate it. Hey Maria Pilar, hey Ross Design Studio. Hey Ryan Martin, welcome in. You heard about us from Ron on the Go, Oh man. What do you say about us? Hopefully, Hopefully good things, right? <laughs> if so, yeah, well, thank you, <laughs> and welcome in. Hey James B. So the glass blowers today, uh, either Kevin or Charlie, are out uh, until 6:40 tonight. Uh, so we might drop back by later on tonight. We'll see. Uh, see whether or not they are working on it at all. There. Uh, in about 13 minutes, uh, Neil will be back at the piano again. So it'll be good to catch him for his last set there. Oh, definitely. And uh, then from there until, uh, well, there's also going to be a cavalcade coming through at some point. Uh, it's scheduled for 5.10. Yesterday it wasn't until 5.30 that it began, 
So it might be partially through Neil's set that uh, it comes by. Uh, not really sure about what time it'll be. Ray Jean Rolf wants to know, Monica, where did you get your backpack? Disney. This is uh, the Halloween backpack, uh, the Halloween this launch fly. Yeah, this is the Disney Parks Halloween launch fly from last year. <laughs> I mean, oh. it's almost Halloween time, right? It is. <laughs> Some tiaras up there. So, Charlie Orlando, we honestly don't know. Uh, today is a little strange. Uh, there is no second hoedown. There is no second uh, ca uh, cavalcade. The first one yesterday got pushed so far back that I don't think they ended up having the hoedown. Uh, but there is nothing that says whether or not they will have a hoedown or not on a regular day. So it's all kind of up in the air today. But if it's on its way, the uh, cavalcade that is coming is the Adventure Friends Cavalcade, the Kicking Cavalcade. Vamos. I do think I hear it coming, actually. The cavalcade? Yeah. I hear the music for it, so I guess it did start at its usual scheduled time of 5.10, which is awesome. Uh, let's find a place for it. Yeah. You want to go right over here at the trash can? All right. Hey, Simone Cruz Vlogs, good to see you. Happy Independence Day. Well, thank you so much. So, Neve, we saw Donald Duck during the uh, parade, the first thing we did when we came in the park today. Yeah, the Festival of Fantasy Parade. You can see Donald at the end of the parade. Yep. Donald and Daisy uh, shared a special moment as well. It was very nice. Nick, can I have you hold on to the gimbal yeah, for a moment? Thank you. Into the sidewalk just yet? Not yet, because the uh, kicking cup is just entering the hub, so it's going to be another like five minutes or so before it's here. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, they are now. <laughs> and Neve, no, the only um, parade that Donald is in uh, today was the Festival of the Fantasy Parade. That's the first one we caught. This next one is the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. This is the one that will have uh, characters such as Miguel. Woody, Jesse, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible, lots and lots of the princesses, Marie, Stitch, Turk, Baloo, um, Mary Poppins, Bert, a bunch of awesome characters. Absolutely. So guys, while well, the uh, Adventure Friends Cavalcade makes its way this way, good to see you all. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Independence Day for those of you in America and those of you not in America. It is the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Uh, we hope you're enjoying your time here with us today at the Magic Kingdom. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well, guys. We're going to be here through fireworks tonight. We're going to be seeing the D-Day dance parties. It's going to oh, be a yeah. lot of fun. All the dance parties. It's, just, it's going to be a good day, guys. Neve, we'll do our best. When we, say, when we see Stitch, we'll wave hi. Oh, yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Hey, Tracy. So, guys, in just about two or so we should be able to start seeing the start of the uh, Adventure Friends Cavalcade, the Kicking Cavalcade, the, uh, the Balmos Cavalcade. No matter what it goes by, it's uh, the only cavalcade left here at Magic Kingdom. And it was arguably the best when they were having a lot of cavalcades, so we're very excited about it. And uh, thank you for being here. Thank you guys. And happy 4th of July to everybody. And a uh, hello to everybody in chat and a hello to all the ninja watchers. <laughs> Eric, yes, Eric did get a haircut. And uh, Maria, I think he is only over at Disneyland right now. We don't have him over at Disney World just yet that we know of. Nice. So, yeah, hey Lori, hey Jellybean, hey Lisa, hey Yorkshire Simon. Oh, thank you, Becky. Thank you, guys. All right, right Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Exactly.
Americas. So that was the Adventure Friends Cavalcade, everybody. The wind is picking up, the clouds are building. Hopefully the storms leave us alone today. That's quite the sight though. Corn Dog Jimmy, welcome in. Hey Corn Dog Jimmy. Oh my gosh, did you read Corn Dog Jimmy's comment? I didn't. He I, said was, I was recording Instagram. He said, Happy Independence Day America. I had a beer and ate pizza with my bare hands like a savage to celebrate. <laughs> well, that's awesome, Jimmy. Well, thank you for being here, Corn Dog Jimmy. We appreciate it. It does feel like a storm is a brewing. Yeah, you can feel that uh, breeze picking up. It's coming from the south right now. And that's what the south looks like. Hopefully, hopefully it just blows over. So, Neve, we might not go meet Goofy and Donald today, but we will do that sometime soon. We'd love to do that. Uh, but today we're really focused on all the celebrations here at Magic Kingdom. For 4th of July. For 4th of July, exactly. Let's see what the weather is looking like. The wind is definitely picking up now. Hey, Forza. Hey, Spets Dog. Hey, Montalago. Hey, Jocelyn. Great to see you guys. Yes, Lisa, lots of dark clouds coming. It looks like most of the storms are to our east. Hopefully it stays over there. Yeah, Orlando's getting hit pretty hard right now. It sure is. Hey, Lori. Hey, Marissa. Um, we saw Mickey Mouse in the uh, Festival of Fantasy Parade. It was one of the first parades we caught when we uh, started the live stream today, if you guys wanted to watch that back. We certainly did. <laughs> Forza says, is that a Bucky's tea I saw earlier? That was indeed. Let's uh, turn around real quick. Yeah, we can check. Yeah. So, Bucky. hey guys. A little Bucky's 4th of July. It's 4th of July, you know. You got, you got to represent, right? Right. Not hearing thunder just yet, Tim. Yeah, uh, no thunder. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Let's go find a good spot for uh, Neil's last set. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Two minutes. Karen, we, uh, we are staying for the fireworks. We turn there. Absolutely. Yes. Hey, right. Mr. Knight. Hey, Theo. Hey, guys. All right, we're going to turn it back around. Before we do, guys, we are the Park Alphas. We're Monica and Eric. We go live in the parks all the time, guys. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We'd love to be able to bring you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. Let's go enjoy Neil on the piano. Yes. Let's go. It's getting busier on Main Street. I was just about to get that. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Ruth. Hey, Will. Oh, Ruth has the same shirt on today. That's awesome, Ruth. That is awesome. I already ate it. I was going through our closets and I was like, I think this may be our only 4th of July themed t shirt. Might so be. it's uh, very hot because it is cotton. Um, but uh, you have to, you know. Where are the appropriate theming? <laughs> hey Alex J, hey Skippy. Currently 73 in Denver, moving to Orlando in a week. Not sure on that heat. Yeah, the heat's a, a tough one, especially during the summer. Well, congratulations on your move, Skippy. That's amazing. Uh, moving in this heat and uh, potential storms is always interesting, so uh, be prepared for that. But uh, it's, yeah, I mean, we think you'll like it here. The heat is definitely a factor, but you know, a lot of locals uh, will prefer to go out in the mornings or at night uh, and don't really, you know, spend too much time at, say, the Magic Kingdom in the middle of the afternoon because it's very, I saw a very hot. Yeah, there's a wasp in this area. Oh, no. 
Well, be careful with the wasp. Yeah, he was flying around us earlier, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi. Hey, Neil. Hey, Neil. Forgot to show you, you inspired us. <laughs> it had been like, too long since like, I'd had a haircut. It was like, it's too hot. Let's, let's take care of this before I it gets worse. I noticed you had less hair. <laughs> uh -huh. A little bit. I feel lighter now. It's, it's really cooler. funny. Yeah. Now well, mine's hair. not by choice. There's just not much left up there. Now I'm going to let him cut my hair. <laughs> so guys, it's Neil. Here for his last set of the day, guys. Yes. Yes. Before, how long before the storm? Yes. Literally, right? Like <laughs> hey, John. Hey, Tim. <laughs> Alright, enjoy Neil guys.
guys, that was Neil at Neil Piano on YouTube. Artyom also dropped his Instagram link a little bit ago. This is his job. This is what he does. This is what he gets to do, everybody. This is amazing. And a lot of people were talking about how much they wish they could play like you. All it takes, guys, is about 50 years of ongoing practice, and you, and you can start to catch up with Neil. That's all. That's all. Just a measly 50 years. Just, just a measly 50 years and a full body workout every single time you play the piano. Oh my gosh, you've had It's coming pretty quick. My car. Yeah. No, it, it won't rain until I get off the bus yes. to go to my car. Of exactly. Yeah. Well, in that case, we're going to be making our way over to the Hall of Presidents in a moment. This is the 4th of July. 4th of July stuff. And Very hopefully, cool. by the time we get in there, you'll be getting off the bus. So the storm can pass by. Well, I use my little silver umbrella. <laughs> yeah, dual purpose. Wow, it is getting nice hard. to see you guys. All right. It's a pleasure. Yeah. We uh, we were looking at being here for the Fourth of July. We're like, you know, the one of the best parts of that is we get to go see Neil again. So one of the best parts of being here for the Fourth of July is Neil. So I mean, if this was on a Wednesday, we might have had it done that far. That's true. We would have. So guys, if you want to come see Neil on the piano by Casey's Corner, Mondays and Tuesdays, throughout the day, the My Disney Experience app gives you the times. There were a couple of questions about that earlier. So if you pull up the My Disney Experience app and you look up the Casey's Corner piano, that's thunder. It'll show you all the times throughout the day that they play. Well, let's all get to where we're going. Yeah, let's do it. Because, like, that doesn't sound very good. Hopefully that was just the trash, right? Yeah, just the trash, sure. I don't know what's in that trash. That's all right. We were just walking around with the lightning rod. We're fine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Neil. We will. That'll be some good air conditioning. Well, and some good learning. It feels like 10 degrees cooler all the way. Just like yes, it, it does. Really does. It's amazing. Thank you, Neil. Nice to see you. Absolutely. See you next time. Enjoy your 4th of July tonight. Hopefully, uh, make sure that you, know, you don't go too wild with the fireworks or anything so that the neighbors have to call the police on you. <laughs> 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 my hands don't touch things like that. Oh, you're good. Oh, man. My, my, my lady's like, yeah, you and you not touch the fireworks. Yeah, no. <laughs> Guys, Neil on piano. All right, let's make our way over to the Hall of Presidents. Hall of Presidents, let's go. Let's do it. Thank you, Okay. Come here. Jelly Bean's going to have space mayonnaise with this burger. That's awesome. There is a storm of brew in Marty M. Absolutely. All right. I think they're doing that trash can, but they were changing up the bags. Oh, gotcha. Well, there's one yeah. right up here. Like, gotcha. Uh -oh. It doesn't sound too good. Hello, Caitlin. She was mid-conversation, but that was Caitlin. Her mom had been in our chat a few times to say oh, hi to her. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if her mom comes back on later, she can say hi. <laughs> we're here. Uh, we're getting some nice sounds out here. Maybe we shouldn't have walked out, out into the open. I wonder how the <laughs> DJ booth's coming along. It's uh, it's coming, but I don't think it's going to be coming too much uh, more for a little bit. I think, well, they I might think they're going to probably start putting a tent up or something. That could be. That makes sense. I do say it's saying like all the July 4th pretty stuff. That is true. That's going to be awesome. Ooh, popcorn's freshly popping. Never wanted popcorn before, but now it's fresh and I'm like, hmm, maybe. <laughs> well, you guys know why there's storms. Neil played We Don't Talk About Bruno. Oh, no. He talked about Bruno, guys. Oh, no, Jen. Stay dry. Stay safe. Oh, thank you so much for the reminder, Marty M. Yes, Marie, thank you so much for joining the Park Hoppers membership. We really appreciate that. We will, uh, you want to turn around right here real quick? Sure. Thank you so much, Marie. Welcome to the membership. We really appreciate that. We hope you enjoy the emojis. Yes, thank you, Marie. And guys, we're going to make our way over to the Hall of Presidents. It's right up here on the right, so it shouldn't be too much longer. We're going to look at some of the exhibits in there and also enjoy the show itself. I'm and, excited. Yeah, absolutely. And then after that, guys, the, hopefully the storm, excuse me, will blow over, and uh, we'll have DJs out, and it'll be a party here. Yeah, that'll be fun. Absolutely. So let's turn it back around, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Once again, we are the Park Hoppers. We're Monica and Aaron. We go live in the parks all the time. 
thank you for uh, being here with us today. If you would like to be with us again in the future, please consider subscribing. We'd love to be able to take you along again. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. Let's make our way over to the Hall of Presidents. Almost there. The funnel cake smells so good at uh, Sleepy Hollow. It does. Oh. It like... Is that a big raindrop? Where? That uh, hit our arm. Oh, no. Quick, into the hall. Into the Hall of Presidents. As everyone comes this way because it's starting to rain. This is a very special rug. This is the seal of the uh, President of the United States. There's only two of these. One is in the White House, and one of them's here. Oh, Marty M said, Park Poppers, could you please congratulate Neve on winning bingo? Yes, of course. Congratulations, Neve. Congratulations, Neve. Well done. Hopefully you had fun. Bingo is always so much fun. Oh, yeah. Where should we start? Well, let's start with the uh, first exhibit that's open. That's pretty cool. What? What is cool? The key to Disneyland. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, this giant yellow key. <laughs> Richard Nixon, key to Disneyland 1955. When former Vice President Richard Nixon first visited Disneyland, he was given this honorary key to the happiest place on earth. However symbolic, the gift was put to good use. To this day, Mr. Nixon holds the record for the most visits to the park by any U.S. president. Wow. That's a, I didn't know that. I didn't know that Did either. you guys know that? That's really cool. And then here is a letter, Secretary of Treasury, to, who is addressed to? To Dear Mac. It's a little hard to it's, read. Yeah, it's a little, uh, yeah, difficult to read. <laughs> so let's look up here. Woodrow Wilson's Golf Club. Oh, and a letter to William G. Mikado. Okay, so this is a, a, present, a letter from Woodrow Wilson, and this is his golf club as well. Oh, wow. That's wild. Hey Iggy, hey Douglas, hey Simon Rogers. Then over here guys, we've got uh, George Washington's uh, shoe buckles. That's pretty nifty. Hey Michelle, Michelle says hello from Paisley where it's thundering and raining. Also watching New Six, it's pouring out Lake Eola. Well stay dry, stay safe. Absolutely. And then down here, guys, is James Monroe's gloves, if you want to, or we can. Uh, James Monroe, after serving as a senator, governor, and diplomat, James Monroe became the last of the founding fathers to be elected president. He is said to have worn these gloves during his inauguration ceremonies in March 1817. Those were on loan courtesy of the Dumbarton House, the National so uh, Society of the Colonial Games of America, out of Washington, D.C. Up here you've got an ink quill from James K. Polk while earning his degree at the University of North Carolina. James K. Polk spent so many hours studying that he inspired a catchphrase among his classmates. If a fact was undeniable, students would say that it was just as certain as the Polk would get up at the first call. The 11th president graduated with top honors and gave the class a commencement speech, which he penned entirely in Latin. During his administration, Polk's love of diligent study defined his presidency. And then this is Benjamin Harrison's walking stick when President Lincoln called for additional Union Army recruits in 1862. Young lawyer Benjamin Harrison had no military experience. However, when he saw the dire lack of volunteers, he resolved to join the cause, stating, If I can be of any service, I will go. Harrison served bravely in the Civil War, achieving the rank of uh, Brevet Brigadier General. Years later, the 23rd president received this walking stick. Okay, gotcha. Guys, it's Goo and his brother. How are you guys doing? Nice it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. I, I think we've like seen you guys a couple times, but we've never actually seen you. We say hi on your streams as much. Whenever we're not streaming, we're, yeah. we're there. <laughs> yeah. You guys are filming a vlog today? Yeah. That's awesome. So guys, 
Good to you is the channel. Uh, if you guys want to see a vlog about today, you guys are going to have it out tomorrow or the next day, somewhere in there? Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow? Yeah. So they're doing a full vlog of today, guys. Uh, we're live streaming it, but there's a lot of things that you uh, will be able to see in a vlog that you really just can't do during the live stream. Yes. So if you guys want to see any of those details, go check out Goo and his brother over there at Goo to You. Awesome. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. Yeah. Everybody saying hello to you guys. Yeah. Everybody's like, hello Goo, hello Matt. <laughs> Chris S. is like, hello Goo and Matt. And Marty M. Welcome Goo and brother. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for saying hey. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. We'll look forward to your vlog tomorrow. Hope I'm not too sweaty. It's going to get better with the rain. Hopefully just the rain Hopefully. just stops for the rest yeah, of the, the evening, you know? Yeah. I hope it doesn't do that thing where it just becomes like a sauna outside. After yeah. yeah. That, that would let's, be bad. Let's, let's not welcome that in. Yeah, no, no. I don't think it'll happen. Yeah. Oh, it's been called Olaf thoughts. Yes, yes. Uh, in summer, too, at that. Well, you know, I was trying to theme it, you know? Oh, there you go. <laughs> So guys, good to you. They do a lot of live streams. They do a lot of vlogs, guys. Go check them out if you haven't already. Yeah, uh, everybody in chat is saying hello to both of you guys. They're like, they're awesome. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. Stay cool as much as possible. Yes. Enjoy the parties tonight. If you see us again, by all means, come say hi. Hopefully you'll get a great spot for the you know, fireworks. If you see us, and, like, we're dancing like crazy, that's us. That's probably not us. No. <laughs> we'll get up to dance tonight. If I dance, go, you have to. I, I don't dance. No, no, really. no, I really don't dance. <laughs> <laughs> if she dances, we're all dancing because apparently I, it's a really good song. Never know. I saw a video <laughs> you, you know, I That's heard cool. I heard little Einstein was playing little Einstein. I was that like, was pretty I, awesome. I, I, I would like to dance with little Einstein. They dropped the bass and just little Einstein <laughs> just came. Out. We're all just like, all right, okay, sure. <laughs> all right, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Francois Jeffron says hello. Everybody was saying hello. That's true. <laughs> Artyom, thank you so much for dropping their channel. Thank Have you a good guys. one, guys. That was so kind of them to say hi. That was. But yeah, they're going to uh, be making a vlog about today and dropping it tomorrow. So check that out, guys. Absolutely. Uh, thanks, Artyom, for dropping their channel and the link. Really appreciate that. We do. All right. Did we finish this? Uh, yeah, piece? this said right now. Uh, there's a lot of folks in here just looking for a refuge from the rain. We can. Yeah. So there were a number of things from uh, different members of, uh, of the Senate and uh, different presidencies. Okay. Uh, but the like, only Disney-related thing was the key to Nixon. Right, right. Okay. So you had like George Washington's uh, shoe uh, embellishments and... Uh, oh, that's what the things I thought were like bracelets were. Yeah, and James Polk's uh, inkwell for when he was uh, writing things. Well, that's pretty cool as well. All right, what else can we find here now? So this one's called Public Lives and Personal Memories. All American presidents have shared the public spotlight and, at the same time, the role of a private citizen. These artifacts reveal the personal lives of the person behind our nation's greatest leaders. Very cool. So down here at the bottom, guys, it says Theodore Roosevelt hits his saddle and his hat. This is Teddy Roosevelt's saddle and hat. That's Circa amazing. Circa 1900. There's a picture of him right there on what might have been this saddle and uh, what might have been one of his hats there. It says, even in the urban setting of Washington, D.C., Theodore Roosevelt found a way to pursue his love of horseback riding. The 26th president filled the White House stables with thoroughbreds and often took his favorite horse, Blistein, uh, out for jumping practice in local parks. Although the former rough rider found his jaunts exhilarating, the unsuspecting pedestrian in Roosevelt's path uh, experienced a very different kind of thrill. Oh, I can and imagine. Neve, uh, Neve is going to bed. Good night, Neve. Thank you so much for being here. Have, Have a wonderful night. Good night, Neve. Oh, that's awesome. This is a painting by Dwight Eisenhower. It's called Winter Birches. While President Dwight Eisenhower's many military and civilian achievements are well known, he was also an accomplished painter. He began painting at age 58, partly due to the encouragement of friend and fellow artist Winston Churchill. Uh, Winston Churchill, my goodness. Uh, President Eisenhower was so devoted to his hobby that he set up an art studio at the second floor of the White House and went on to paint more than 250 works over the course of his life. Walt in here. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I think, is this like our first time in here? I think so. Yeah. Jimmy Carter. This is some of his fly fishing gear, guys. From Jimmy Carter's. Yeah. Jimmy Carter's passion for fly fishing will continue long beyond his presidency. After leaving office, he began to publish articles about the pastime in Fly Fisherman and Outdoor Magazine. His hobby knew no borders. Deeply appreciative of nature, President Carter waded into waters as far flung as Alaska, Argentina, Honduras, Mongolia. Russia and Venezuela to fly fish with family and friends. I wonder if he made his own size. That would be cool. That would be cool. 
And this is a Texas Rangers jacket from George W. Bush. Once a part owner of the Texas Rangers, George W. Bush remains a lifelong baseball fan. The kid who grew up playing Little League in Midland, Texas, would have never imagined he'd one day host his favorite players at the White House as President of the United States. Bush always recognized the unifying power of America's favorite pastime, from hosting a yearly t-ball game on the White House lawn to rallying a grieving nation during the 2001 World Series. I wonder how long before the next show. Oh, there's the Walt statue. Oh, there is the Walt statue. So, guys, over here there's a bust of Walt Disney, sculpted by Blaine Gibson in 1990. And just above that, it says Walt Disney, an American original. I've always wanted a kind of a bill. Uh, I've always been a kind of a billboard American. I think I get that red, white, and blue streak up and down my back every once in a while. Says Walt Disney. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Sculpted by Blaine Gibson in 1990. Mm -hmm. Our next 20-minute presentation will be starting at approximately 6.15. Once again, our next 20-minute presentation will be starting at about 13 about minutes. I mean, there's really nowhere to go outside. It's kind of uh, storming pretty hard. Yep. So we'll take a look at some of the other uh, displays in here. Let's see. What's it over here? Oh, this is Dolly Madison's. Before she became the first lady of the United States, Dolly Madison was the first daughter of a Quaker family from rural North Carolina. Born in 1768, Dolly Payne Todd abandoned the strict Quaker lifestyle when she lost her first husband to yellow fever. Soon after, she married future president James Madison, who was 17 years her senior. When President Madison was often considered reserved and bookish, his first lady was quite the contrary. During their time at the White House, Mrs. Madison was famous for her social grace and political savvy, which she displayed at many lavish uh, soirees. She even managed to entertain visitors after the White House burned down in the War of 1812. After two terms in office, the Madisons returned to their Virginia home, Montpelier. Though happily retired, the couple remained involved in politics and continued to entertain heads of state and foreign dignitaries for nearly two more decades. When President Madison passed away in 1836, Mrs. Madison returned to Washington, D.C., where she spent the rest of her life as one of the most beloved first ladies in American history. And there's also vases and turbans and her evening gown. That's crazy. Really cool. So this is Caroline Harrison's day dress. Some of her uh, memorabilia as well. Raised in an Indiana home, brimming with books and music, Caroline Scott fostered a lifelong uh, passion for the arts that would prove contagious. As a spirited college student, she studied painting, performed in improvised plays, and defied her church and father by taking her beau, uh, Benjamin Harrison, to dances. After graduating with a degree in music, she became an educator to share her artistry. In Washington, Mrs. Harrison uh, preserved art by establishing the White House China Collection. To ensure the details of its contents were not lost, she gathered oral history, conducting extensive interviews with the White House staffers. The official China of President Harrison's administration was designed by none other than, first, than the First Lady herself. Mrs. Harrison was so enthusiastic about the craft and firm in her belief that the arts should be accessible to all Americans that she opened the White House to the public and, facilis and facilitated China painting lessons for all interested citizens. Ever passionate about education? Mrs. Harrison used her office to fundraise for Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, on the condition the university accepts women. Before her life was cut short by tuberculosis, Mrs. Harrison made history when she gave the first speech recorded by a sitting First Lady, a title she transcended as an artist, activist, and educator. Wow, that's amazing. Right? Hey, Fallen Star, hey, Lots Cooper. Marty M was saying Dolly saved Washington's portrait during the fire. Right. They That's were supposed crazy. to leave, and she was like, wait. She went back and got the portrait of, Wa of uh, Washington. George Washington wow. and fled the burning White House. That's amazing. And super talented artist, too. Did you see that painting on the uh, Fine China? Yeah. They even have her paintbrushes and everything. That's that really is crazy. cool. Now get out of your way to go to the last one. Gotcha. Over here, guys, it's Eleanor Rosalind Smith Carter. 
Rosalind Carter was born in Plains, Georgia on August 18, 1927. When her father died of leukemia, the, uh, she began working at the age of 13 to help support her mother and family. Despite her many responsibilities, Rosalind graduated valedictorian from Plains High High School and later attended Georgia Southwestern College. Though she initially refused his hand in marriage, Rosalind was instrumental in her husband Jimmy Carter's successful campaigns for the Georgia Senate, Georgia governorship, and the White House. Her involvement in the president's administration was unprecedented for a first lady. Rosalind weighed in uh, on policy decisions during weekly lunches in the Oval Office, attended cabinet meetings, and served as President Carter's envoy to Latin America. There, she met with numerous leaders to discuss nuclear nonproliferation, trade, and human rights in Spanish. As the active honorary chair of the President's Commission on Mental Health, Rosalind championed the needs of the mentally ill and their caregivers. She testified before Congress in support of the Mental Health Systems Act, which was consequently passed and put into law in 1980. Rosalind co-founded the Carter Center and its Mental Health Task Force, which uh, supports mental health care and education to this day. That's really cool. And that's the National Humanitarian Award right there. Wow. That's really cool. That is really cool. And there's her portrait right back there. Although it's a little blurry there. Yeah. Let's see what else we can see. Yeah. Well, right there is a portrait of George Washington. Mrs. Carter is 95 years old, says Mario. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, both of the Carters are still still around. That's crazy. Uh, Jimmy, up until recently, was still uh, uh, still building houses for the needy, if I remember correctly. And is a uh, rather advanced age. He's currently 98 years old. George Washington was our first president here in America. He was president from 1789 to 1797. To the memory of the man, first in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of his countrymen. It's a quote from Henry Lighthorse Harry Lee. Yeah, exactly, Eric uh, Habitat for Humanity is uh, the organization that he would build houses uh, with. Yeah, that's amazing. Hey, Marcella. Let's, see. Let's take a look over here at uh, some more stuff. So right in here, guys. We've got Ronald Reagan's bolo tie. Although born in Illinois, President Ronald Reagan adopted California as his home when he traveled to Hollywood to become an actor in the 1930s. As his second term as California's governor, drew to a close, he and his wife purchased a ranch near Santa Barbara in 1974, renaming it Rancho del C uh, Cielo? Cielo. Uh, Cielo. Thank you. Uh, sky. Gotcha. During his many visits there during his time as president, he was often seen dressed in Western garb, wearing bolo ties like this. Up here, this is Thomas Jefferson's pocket watch. Thomas Jefferson held many important positions before he became the third president of the United States, including five years in Paris as minister to France. President Jefferson loved Parisian culture, immersing himself in uh, immersing himself, excuse me, in French cuisine, art, architecture, and engineering. It was there that he most likely purchased this pocket watch, created by master watchmaker Daniel Vacher. That's awesome. And up here, guys, this is George Washington's uh, Society of the Cincinnati Dinner Plate. In 1783, officers of the Continental Army founded the Society of the Cincinnati, one of, Americans, one of America's earliest fraternal and charitable associations. The society took its name from the ancient Lucius Quintus Cincinnatus, a Roman statesman who gained fame for his selfless devotion in times of crisis. Soon after their founding, the organization elected George Washington as their President General. In about five minutes, we'll be starting our next presentation. Once again, if you're traveling with a wheelchair in your party and you cannot transfer, you'll be entering on the far right-hand side and backing into one of our spaces. So you're like if you five minutes. Like transfer, yep. you can enter on the left-hand side and park up against the big blue wall of the theater. Once more, our next 20-minute show will be starting in about 
about five minutes. Guys, okay, so it looks like this is Franklin Delano Roosevelt's fish and grill and box. From 1935. From 1935. While serving an unprecedented four terms in office, Franklin Delano Roosevelt worked tirelessly to guide the nation through both the Great Depression and World War II. In the rare moments the president would spare away from his duties, he found respite fishing lakes and sea coasts across the country. The dedicated angler never missed a chance to cast a line, even from the decks of naval warships or his presidential yacht, the Potomac. So these are uh, some scales and weights from James Monroe. Uh, after he became the fifth president, James Monroe was a lawyer, diplomat, and farmer. Among his many public roles, he served as governor of Virginia, minister of France, and secretary of state. These pocket scales would have been a convenient accessory during his travels in an era when everything from medicine to currency needed to be weighed accurately. And then up top, guys, Lyndon B. Johnson. This is a letter to his granddaughter. This letter, dated November 8, 1968, shows Lyndon Johnson's unabashed affection for his granddaughter, with whom he kept up a, life, a lifelong correspondence. In fact, President Johnson received his first letter from Lucinda, written by her mother, just days after she was born. And that's it, I think, for the artifacts in here. Uh, for the, uh, there's one bit in here. And this is the making of the Hall of Presidents, showing some of the attire and the props uh, that go behind uh, the creation of this show. It's pretty awesome. They have authentic jewelry such as watches, wedding rings, ornate buckles, lapel pins to help add a heightened sense of believability to the overall look of each president. Hey Daniel! We're getting ready to enjoy the Hall of Presidents here in just a few minutes. So hey guys, thank you so much for sticking out with us. We know uh, this isn't necessarily everybody's cup of tea, but this is an important show. Uh, it's one that Walt Disney really enjoyed as well, like uh, the idea behind it. Uh, yeah. He wasn't a part of this one in particular, but he was a part of, uh, of Lincoln, yeah. which was kind of the predecessor to this. So it's a little bit of a history uh, lesson for about 25 minutes, and then we'll be heading back out, guys, uh, to enjoy the rest of the park. At about 7 p.m., if the rain stops or slows down, the DJs will start playing, and we're going to start having a great time. I mean, I mean, more of a great time. More I would say. of a great time. Uh, we do have a second live stream set up that we will be sending to somewhere in that neighborhood of seven or eight, uh, and this should transfer you guys right on over. If you're new here, guys, we're the Park Hoppers from Monica Nair. People left in the parks all the time now. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. Let's enjoy the Hall of Presidents, guys. They'll let us in in about one minute. One minute. Like one minute, 30 seconds. Yeah. says the Hall of Presidents is great. I can't remember the last time we did this. Hey Jenna Evans, happy 4th of July. Great to see you. Oh yeah, very true, Marty M. Thank you. Wonderful reminder. Right, let's, go into the show. let's enjoy the Hall of Presidents, guys. Okay. 
Hall of Presidents. It's really pretty in here. Hey, Walking with the Woods, Nick and Claire. Good to see you guys. Down under, happy Fourth of July. Hey, Carvajas. Yeah, it's been a long time for us too, Douglas Potter. We're excited. America inspired the creation of the Hall of Presidents, a place to celebrate the optimism and goodwill he saw at the heart of the American story. Walt's vision was to honor the nation by honoring the American presidency. Successful revolutions 
make themselves dictators or kings. Instead, he steps down from power and retires to his home, Mount Vernon. The world takes note, and George Washington becomes the symbol of American ideals. In the first presidential election, it's Washington by a landslide. The only doubt seems to be his own. He writes, integrity and firmness is all I can promise. Integrity and firmness is exactly what we need. Everything he does as president will set a model for his successors. His final act may be the most important of all. After two terms, with no term limit in the Constitution and amid overwhelming support to stay in office, he steps down once again and hands power back to the people. He wants us to speak, to elect a new president. During the early years of the Republic, we choose leaders as different as Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and Andrew Jackson. Elections are often bitter. Each president stands at that fiery intersection where personal character meets the challenges of the times. Some call the presidency a glorious burden. Jefferson calls it a splendid misery. We the people must choose well. We elect 15 presidents before the course of history brings us to the edge of a crisis like no other. A nation born of freedom still permits slavery. As the country pushes west, will new states be slave or free? The question produces bitter conflict. The issue rocks the election of 1860 and brings Abraham Lincoln onto the national stage. The tall, lanky, some say uncouth candidate from Illinois is a master of words at a time when speeches are printed in full for people to read. A house divided against itself cannot stand, he has said. With Lincoln's election, the house does indeed divide. but never loses his determination to rise above it. He once said he's driven by a desire to leave the world a little better place for having lived in it. The war rages. Lincoln fights to preserve the Union and end slavery. Neither is a sure thing. At Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, six months after one of the bloodiest battles of the war, the president dedicates a cemetery to the thousands of soldiers who died there in words we can never forget. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live it is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have consecrated it 
far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. The blood of over half a million Americans is spilled in this civil war. President Lincoln's enduring hope is to give true meaning to the sacrifices of so many, to lead us to that new birth of freedom. With the end of the war and the end of slavery, a new birth truly begins. As we roll toward the 20th century, settlers roll west on wagon wheels and railroads connect the nation coast to coast. Millions of immigrants pour in from Europe and Asia. Population doubles. Our economy triples. Our standing among nations rises. We need presidents who can lead both at home and abroad. At the same time, a young Theodore Roosevelt is retreating from New York politics and personal tragedy. The death of his wife and his mother on the same day in the same house. In the Badlands of North Dakota, he rethinks his life and the life of his country. He returns stronger in body and spirit. His renewed energy is just what his country needs. American industry is booming. But social tensions are rising. A progressive movement is bubbling up, pushing for change. And change is needed in the working and living conditions in cities. The gap widens between rich and poor. The demand for change grows stronger. Teddy Roosevelt is a knight on a crusade. He speaks with force and vitality in clear terms that make colorful headlines at a time when mass market newspapers have become the new media. To define his foreign policy, he borrows a phrase from an African proverb, speak softly and carry a big stick. But his greatest accomplishments are made at home. He breaks up giant monopolies, protects workers' rights, and calls for a square deal for all Americans, rich and poor, capitalist and wage earner. He calls on America to be as great as the natural grandeur of its lands. and your feet on the ground, he tells us. And we do. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. And we 
do believe. Tonight's attacks on England are perhaps the most widespread of the war. But an even greater challenge dominates his final years in office. The Second World War. We must be the great arsenal of democracy. This is an emergency as serious as war itself. We stun the world with our production. When bombs fall on U.S. troops in Pearl Harbor, he calls us to fight on the war front and sacrifice on the home front. Warren 
G. Harding, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson, Richard M. Nixon, Gerald R. Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, Barack Obama, notification on the 14th day of April 1789 that you had selected me to lead our nation. But it was with the confidence of my fellow citizens that I took an oath. 35 simple words that have been repeated by every American president throughout history. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. The Presidency of the United States is a role unique in the world, an office entrusted to each President by us, we the people. Therein lies the genius of that new idea, now over 200 years old. A new idea our presidents have turned into a great American idea again and again. presidents with us. That was really cool. Was that the Lincoln that Walt Disney worked on? No, the Lincoln that Walt Disney worked on uh, ended up over at Disneyland for uh, great moments with Mr. Lincoln. Oh, okay. I right, guess let's get the brightness back up here. Oh, the phone stopped charging. I'll have to figure that out. That's a shame. All right. That was an amazing, amazing show, guys. Thank you so much for enjoying that with us. I think we have to go all the way out. We have to go all the way out. 
to go where? All the way out. Yeah. Let's uh, hang a left here. Head yeah, back no, towards uh, the left. Main Street. Oh, it's raining a lot. It is humid. It's very humid. But thankfully, a lot of the heat is gone. Just be careful to not slip. Yeah, it's, it's still raining. Still raining. Let's see what we can find. We can find a spot that we can stop and uh, I can work on the Here, phone the a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, um, somewhere like over here. Maybe, yeah. So we could show the castle. Just somewhere that we can put the, uh, oh yeah. Or if you can take the gimbal, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, nobody's in this spot because of the, rain, uh, the sun. Oh, that makes sense. I'm not gonna get in the sun completely. Hey, hang on just a second here. What happens? Point it down and then double click that. There we go. Get it back to the center a little bit. Oh. But I can still show it upwards, right? Right. Like that? Okay. Hey, Egg. Hey, Mona Mouse. Hey, Chewy the cat. You guys see a rainbow? Oh my oh, wow. goodness. Yeah. Great eyes, guys. That's beautiful. I'm going to have to take a photo of that. Let's see if I can get this uh, Oh, that's awesome, Ruth. Yeah, the rainbow's so pretty. I was like, wait, where's the rainbow? Oh, it's gorgeous. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Anthony. You are plugged in. Excellent. Hey, Christina. Yes, we spotted it. It's gorgeous. Happy 4th of July, guys. Happy Independence Day. Yeah, seeing the Hall of Presidents was really epic, especially for today. Hey James. Oh, there's two rainbows? Oh my goodness. Great eye, James. Oh, yeah. Very faint one above it. Yeah, it is a double rainbow, guys. Let's see if we can uh, change pretty. the exposure and bring that out a bit more. That's really cool. That is really cool. Let's see if that comes out a little bit more. You can kind of see it right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey David Darkey, happy 4th of July. Hey David. It is so pretty dark flower. And then James was like, double rainbow. I'm like, what? Very faintly above the other one. That's so right? gorgeous. So rare to see. And the water is back filling the moat, guys, here at the castle. Oh yeah. That's crazy. Wow, that's gorgeous. Hey, James Spindler. Get your screenshots in, guys. Right? And get Disney Ducks. Oh my goodness, Dana. As soon as I can get my phone to load. Dana? Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta turn it around and say thank you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Dana sent us a $50 PayPal. She says thank you for showing that on the 4th of July. Thank you, Dana. <laughs> thank you so much, Dana. We sincerely appreciate that. Very, uh, very grateful, yes. We, are. we just hope that you enjoyed it and uh, we're thankful that you were here with us uh, to, to be a part of that because that was yeah. just a very special special show. So thank you so much, Dana. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You want to go back to the, uh, the rainbows? Yeah, back to the rainbows. Thank you, Dana. Hey, Quincy. Can I bug you for a selfie? Uh, maybe in a moment, yeah. I keep getting eaten by something over here. Oh, probably that bug. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful view. Nice. All good. That is not something you see every day. That's really no, pretty. It's not. Oh no, our selfie came out terrible. Oh no.
That was a terrible selfie. <laughs> Can you attempt a selfie with me? Sure. Guys, we're going to take another selfie. Sorry, guys. I did a very bad selfie. <laughs> hey, Brooke Smith. Hey, Philip. He's a big fan of the Hall of Presidents. That's awesome. Thank you for enjoying that with us. Oh, thank you, Marty. See you soon. There's the rainbow. Okay, there's the rainbow. There's the castle. There's us. And then, I don't know what's going on. Okay. All right, ready? Nine, three, three. Give me that. You gotta, Don't take you gotta it. Take a picture. Oh my gosh! Really? Here, get this. Get the. Maybe. There's like a double rainbow. Like, I know. You gotta get the rainbow in there. Taste the you rainbow. See the, you see both of them? Yeah. Yeah. Selfie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Should we be doing Vogue or? I don't know. We'll part topics later on Instagram. There you go. If Thank that doesn't Chris. work, I can't help you anymore. How are you guys doing? Guys, it's yeah, Chris with your ear. Are you? Are, is it okay Love if I show you? The red, white, and blue. Yeah. Look at me. I'm ready for Fourth of July. I'm wearing my blue. Year tonight. round, you're you're ready. You got the white hat and the blue polo. Always ready, guys. That's what I always wear. Chris with ear to ear magic. So He's, I saw you guys over there. Like, Look at that. I'm trying to do selfies. I'm like, you can't have that. How we're like, that's a today? double rainbow. We just got out of the Hall of Presidents and we're like, a rainbow? And then we noticed the other one and it's like, America. <laughs> it, Amer America in the sky. On display. Of course, you have to pay the price. Oh, it has to rain a little bit. Always get yeah. <laughs> a little Tim Trucker there. It's so much cooler. It is so much better. It is so much better. It's much right. cooler. You can... It's a lot better. I'm and now we got. Hello! Hello. 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 And the camera's going to die. Yeah. So, I made it. Are you going to get some I love photos, the awesome photos of uh, our. our yeah, let's our get out of the way there. Back there? Yeah, of course. So, <laughs> that's awesome. The photo pass photographer is back. Let's do a quick photo. Let's do a quick photo. Yeah. All right. Let's take a quick photo. Okay. Okay. Well, we, 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 we got a few people watching with us. They want to be in the picture, too. Yeah, gotcha. everybody has to stay cheap. Everybody get ready for a big photo. <laughs> oh, here comes the sign. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all right. Together for me. all right. All right, everyone. Big smiles right here. Can I ask you to give yep, this thing? I'm a little wet. I smell like Pluto. There you do too. Everyone say ice cream. Ice, ice cream. cream. Thank you so much. Can we get a double scan on that? Yeah, Thank you so much. Catch you. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much, man. Good to see you guys. Thank Good to see you too. Let's get out of the uh, way of the. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. You've been here since this morning, right? You've been here since like 8 a.m. this morning. We're going to be here till 11. Okay. Gonna make the most out of it. Then we go home and, and conk out for about four hours and then be back at Epcot tomorrow. Ice bath. <laughs> Ice bath. Last Got day, <laughs> last day of flower and garden. Yeah, it is. That, it, that is true. I felt like it was going to be oh, forever, no. right? And then I know, it's like, and now what? it's the last day. Now we it, got three weeks of the Festival of No Festival. Yes. Gonna start back That's going to be weird. It's like the so biggest gap stuff. it's had in forever of no festival. But uh, here's festival. the thing, though. What most people know, for those of us who are here all the time, mm -hmm. the great thing is, is that we have three weeks to go try all the stuff that we've been overlooking because we've been running to the food kiosk. That's so All the connection eateries, mm -hmm. all, the, all, the, all, the, all the Germany, all the treats, all the oh, stuff yeah. in France. Now you're no, they're no longer taking the back seat. They have a yeah. chance to shine again. So for three weeks, you get to enjoy that kind of There is no cute. end to amazing food over at Epcot. So much it is one of the best places for it. That's what I'm going to tell you, the tree cake. Oh, I saw cake. it. It looks so good. It's we haven't a had it. little dry, but think about it. They're baking it, baking it, There's so many it, layers. It. It's a lot of layers. <laughs> it looks like it'd be really good with a coffee. Yeah, yes. I think everything's good with coffee, though. That's true. It's, 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 it's definitely a coffee cake. A coffee cake, exactly. are you guys when are you guys going to have the tree cake? That's a great question. We're going to have to do you it some time. Sometime soon. Next yeah. and you guys yeah. Epcot. We're, Definitely. We're going to be back at Epcot at least on Saturday. We're Sometime doing our this week. Yeah. Right. Yeah. weekend. Start yeah. of the Festival of No Festivals. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, it's good to run into <laughs> you guys. It's a pleasure. We're going we're gonna to go uh, make our rounds again and uh, let me know. We'll see you guys after the fireworks. Absolutely. Show. Sounds good. Bye. Have a good one, guys. Good to meet you. All right, guys. Did everyone uh, smile for the photo? Did everybody say cheese?
But now talking about coffee, I want coffee again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Do you want to head towards uh, the front and get a Starbucks or anything? Can I stand here? Sure. I was like, you can see a little bit of the DJ booth uh, oh, you can, happening. Yeah. They're like wiping Let's the floor and getting there. it ready. Oh yeah, they're they're trying to wipe away all the water. Okay. And Rob Law is like, streamception. Streamception. Hey Rob Law. Let's take a look at uh, what we're looking at as far as the weather is concerned. It's uh, barely sprinkling yeah. now, which is a good sign. And the Disney deck's so cute. Yes. I love that they finally filled the moat back up with the water. The castle looks, it looks right again, you know? It does. All right, let's see. Oh, Lynn Butler says I look like a rapid wolf when I oh. smile, so I didn't. Oh, no, Lynn. No, Lynn, we love your smile. We love your smile, Lynn Butler. All right, guys, looks like we're uh, pretty well in the clear. There's a little I'm bit of... I'm feeling a bit of sprinkles. Yeah, just real light rain is yeah. what the green is showing. That yellow-red is what we had over us for a little bit, and that was a problem, but uh, this is much easier to deal with. Yeah. It feels a lot better now than it did when we first got to the park, that's for sure. Oh, for sure. Hey, Mark. Hey, Sandra. So the uh, second rainbow is still there, but it's super faint. It's very difficult to see now. It's super faint. I'm glad we got those pictures in. And then right? we got a group picture in with Chris. That was awesome. That was. Thank you so much, Chris, uh, ear to ear, if you're watching this back at all. Uh, we appreciate you taking those photos for us. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, hopefully one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, they're bringing out the, I think that's going to be a tent for the DJ booth, ah, right? That's a good idea. In case of rain. Yeah. Hey Coleman, yes, Disney Deck. We're trying to get some views on the stage here because the DJs are setting up. That's really cool. You want to head towards the hub and see what we can see from the front side? Yeah, before it gets too crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's head over there. And guys, uh, chat has stopped on my end, so again, we're going to do a quick, quick refresh. refresh. We'll be right back, everybody. We're just going to do a quick refresh. We'll stop, stop the screen, uh, stop the stream, and start it right up again. Oh, great oh blue heron! Oh my gosh! Yeah, I was like, that's a great blue heron. That was pretty. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we should be back. Megan says y'all sent that storm to us. Oh no, Megan. Sorry, Megan. Be safe up there. Oh, we just had a proposal. Oh my goodness, they just got engaged. Congratulations. Oh, what a beautiful spot too. With the uh, castle and the rainbow, that's that's amazing. With a double rainbow. We're back, thank you guys. Thank you everybody. Oh, there goes a balloon. That's awesome. Oh, there goes the great blue heron on the move. Oh, All right, yeah. let's go check out the front of the stage and see what the DJ's doing. Sounds good to me. Let's head that direction. Let's see here. All right. Oh no, Lynn Butler's like saddest thing ever, watching a balloon float away. <laughs> it's like, how do you explain to the cast member, um, my balloon floated away. <laughs> Brooksmith says, y'all gonna bring the party tonight? Heck well, yeah! As long as the party brings it to us. As long as there's a party. Exactly. <laughs> there should be. It looks, there it's looking be. good. It is looking much better. Let's head back that way and get out of the sun. Good thing we did too. We almost got roped in. <laughs> good thing we did too. We almost got roped in. Oh my goodness, we almost did get roped in. I didn't know that it was happening. All right. I was gonna get a cup of water at the uh, Sleepy Hollow, but the line was quite long. It is quite long. I've got another water in my bag if you'd like it. Okay. Or uh, the Gatorade as well, if you'd like yeah. to continue drinking that. It would be a good idea. Let's uh, get over that direction. <laughs> Lynn says it's sad because you know how much they cost. Generally yeah, that too, Lynn. Generally, Disney's very good about things like that, guys. If your balloon pops or anything or it gets deflated, just bring it back to uh, a cast member. Usually, they'll uh, replace they'll it without you. a problem. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, uh, if your child lets go of one or something else like that, if you go back and explain to the cast member you bought it from, uh, hopefully I'm they'll. I'm not sure uh, how situations work with, the, sure. with floating away balloons. 
But I do know with pop balloons, the, they'll really uh, work with you. Right? There's the other end of that rainbow right there. No way! Right there, straight ahead. Off to the right. Wow. Okay. Oh, we love showing you guys Tron Brook, but we may not end up showing you guys Tron tonight. Uh, we'll be back on it soon, though. Yeah, today our focus is uh, 4th of July and all the parties that are about to start. Absolutely. Alright, so while Monica gets a couple photos of the rainbow here, I'm going to reach into the bag and see if I can pull out a Gatorade. There we go. Oh yeah, Dark Flower, it's going to be a lot of fun. It really is. I wonder where the end of the rainbow is pointing. Is there a pot of gold? <laughs> and a leprechaun. I know there's a leprechaun over in Disneyland. Oh, that's true. Thank you, honey. You want to finish it off? Always got to make sure you stay hydrated, everybody. I mean, it's a lot less hot than when we first got to the park. Oh, yeah. But it's still pretty toasty. Oh, CMC. $2.47 Super Chat saying happy number 247th birthday, America. It's Eric and Monica. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you so you much, so CMC. Thank you so much, CMC. Happy birthday, America, the 247th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. That's amazing. All right. Yep. I've got uh, one more also. I'm good for now. I'm just saying there's another answer. Oh. Thank you. Hey, we are absolutely going to watch the fireworks later, Brienne. Absolutely. Let's uh, go take a look at what they're doing on the stage. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It says, celebrate the 4th of July at Walt Disney World Resort at Epcot. Enjoy a one-night-only presentation of the July 4th finale, Heartbeat of Freedom, at 9, and then a Magic Kingdom Disney Celebrate America 4th of July concert in the Sky Fireworks. Spectacular will be presented at 9.20 today. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. That's awesome. So the ropes are up because they are preparing for the fireworks, guys. Here is the stage. So they're clearing off any rain there, uh, just making sure that everything's ready for the DJ. Yeah, I knew. I saw that. I was like, that's a tent because they want to make sure it's not going to damage any of the DJ equipment. Exactly. Is that the DJ right there? Uh, just I looking would, it over? I think the DJ is the one in the tank top. I think so. Just making sure everything is coming together the way it should be. Yeah. Oh, oh. I didn't even notice that the uh, gimbal was drifting a little bit there for a moment. Oh, Sorry, no. guys. All right. Bill Greenleaf, welcome in. Bill says, hi, Park Hoppers. We were there 35 years ago today on our honeymoon. We got the Disney bug and have been coming ever since. We'll be there in December. That's awesome, Bill. That is awesome. Well, you want to go ride something? Oh my goodness, Philip, that would be really cool. That would be really Let's cool. Let's go. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Just half kidding. <laughs> what happened? Uh, you want to go ride something? Yeah, let's go go on a ride. Yeah. You want to go uh, catch a people mover? Let's catch a people mover. Let's move some people. It's already 7 o'clock. Uh, very soon, we'll be making our way back here for the fireworks and the parties. 
Uh, but we'll have to find our spot for the fireworks pretty soon. So uh, let's go get a ride in before we do so. The rainbow is so pretty. Ron says, oh no, night two of delayed music. Yeah, the storm, uh, storm might have delayed it a little bit, but that's all right. DJs will be at it very soon. Since he says, people mover, people mover. Watch your step on. Absolutely, CMC. Yeah, today, the show that uh, fit the ticket, really, fit the day, and uh, really just uh, put us in the mood for what uh, the 4th of July is really about, you know? Hey, Courtney, thank you so much for being here with us. It's feeling hot now. <laughs> yep. Welcome back to Tomorrowland, everybody. Uh, people move it looks to be moving the people, right? It does appear to be moving the people. So, Marty, and we will be switching to part two. Uh, probably after people move it. Whenever the, uh, whenever the DJs start playing, we'll switch over. Mark Putters wants to know, have they updated the people mover since 1979? They have indeed. There have definitely been updates. And there's a new narrator uh, by the name of Orac 5, which uh, is in honor of the original Orac. Uh, and yeah, that, that was a recent change. But as Tomorrowland changes, so does the, uh, the people mover. Did get really wet. Oh, what's this gonna be? I don't know. Are they starting the parties already? It sounds like the DJ over there is getting started. I don't. Oh, that's the wait for the people mover right now. What on earth? Um, that doesn't look like it's moving. <laughs> I think we uh, came just as it's about to come back up or something. But it's not moving right this second. Let's go check out the DJ over there real quick. Yeah, let's go check out the DJ here in uh, Tomorrowland. Yeah, and then we'll make our way back. This is the back of the line for the people mover right now. equipment all set up. Do you want us to uh, change over to the part two? Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Why can't I hear you? Start whenever you want. Oh no. Okay. What happened? Did you mean to switch it? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. So guys, we're going to get ready to switch over to part two. That is our second live stream. Uh, as soon as this one ends, it should send you guys right on over to the next one. If everything works out well. If not, uh, hopefully we can get one of the mods to drop the uh, check link to support one, two, one, two, one, two, Magic Kingdom so makes some there, noise! That's where we're going to have the DJs, the fireworks, everything, guys. So we look forward to seeing you over there. Let's try it again. Magic Kingdom makes some noise! Thank you. 
What's up, everybody? My name is DJ Arthur Rocker, and this is DJ Jay, and we are about to have a 